Oh wow, big drop there to start off today. Actually, I got an awakened orb just now as well. But like Onyx Bolt Tips, I believe it's a perfect Leviathan kill as well as we look forward to the axe. There we go, small kill cut milestone there as well. <gasps> it's more than a milestone! We're three out of four! Oh, that was such a good idea to go to 750. That was such a good idea. Oh my, that's so good. Run, run far. I've got it in my event. Run away. Oh, good. I'm so glad we decided to do like a random Leviathan trip today. I did what, like 16 kills, I think? And we're, that, that's an axe piece, three out of four. Wow. Uh, I guess a bit monotonous, but wow. Do three out of four? I'm three out of four. We just need Whisperer for the axe now. That's so good. All we need now is Whisperer, the Siren Staff. It's a one in 512 from Whisperer. And uh, yeah, then we have a Soul Reaper axe after that. But, and that's kind of all I had until the axe piece. So uh, yeah, very weird on the uniques here, but maybe that means I'm two out of three on the Vestige. Who knows? But that is definitely a job for another day. That was a bit scary at the end. I think I was I late on melee. I might have been. Wait, that, wait, that was a PB by a massive amount. What the hell? 232? That's crazy. Yeah, that was like an 18 second PB or something. Because my previous one, yeah, 250. It's a 232 straight away, a Whisperer. Well, I say straight away. It's actually been a little while for me. But like, that's, that's zooming. Not too bad at all. <gasps> what? What? How? I have 125 KC! What? Well, that's a best in slot slashering obtained, apparently. What? That is way too early. As if I had had two invisible drops already. And I've had a piece of Virtus from this place. And an ingot. What? How in the he How? 25, Virtus, two orbs, ingot, vestige. In 120. That's not normal. That's not even close to normal. What? So, yeah, essentially, this thing, you're supposed to roll three different 1 in 170 drops for an overall chance of 1 in 512. So, to get three of those this early is absolutely absurd. Bellator ring? Uh, yeah, I, th I think I will, actually. Yep. So, guys, that is the best in slot slash ring in the entire game. So, uh, that is so wild that we have that this early. That's crazy. Best in slot at Duke um, for the ring that we need to get there. Um, and also possibly for Theatre of Blood, but I think the strength ring is actually better there. But that that is so insane. Cold Swords at Duke hit way more often. It's uh, It's got a massive slash buff. Um, although Alt or Ember Light might be a play, I'm not sure. I could bring two rings, in fact, or three rings with Light Barrel. There's so much to do. Is it, it could be like Bellator for the um, the BGS and then switch to Altor for the Ember Light at Duke. Is that too sweaty? That might be too sweaty. But I think I'll do it anyway because it, I don't know, that's kind of like what I, I, I like doing that. Hey, <laughs> I saw a ding -a -ling. But yeah, apparently we've got the Vestige for the Shadow Quartz, which is... Kind of interesting, but hey, that I think is now four out of four for the uh, the gems for the ancient staff. Oh, and there we go. The first orb of Whisperer. Well, not first, but the first when it's our last piece to get. But there we go. We'll take a nice beam. I like that beam. It's lovely. There's the guy. No, I pressed my farming cape and... No, no. I, I've got to move that. I've Okay, that, that needs to move. That was it. I clicked on the rock. A while again. This little rage phase is a bit pesky, isn't it? Oh my god, it's not pesky at all. I love it. 1400 Sorens again for kind of a 150, a small milestone there. Fun fact after you do the pillar phase at Whisperer, it'll always be the ghosties and not before. So you can always prepare for that and be ready with your Venator Boo for the next spec. So. Yeah, that means it can never start with the ghosty spec, it'll always either be pillars or dots first, and uh, then you go from there. So, uh, can I call a little knowledge? What? No, what? I did not think I was in one shot range for that. I'm doing some T of E now, and ow.
I just max hit a claw right there. That's cool. That is very cool. I like that. Let's have the TB run done. Ah, well, uh, we've got qualms and some qualms, which normally would be annoyed, but this time I've got no qualms with that, so that's fine. Staff drop, and holy, you get 105 of them? I quite like Whisper's drop table, I've got to say. Like, that's, that's quite good. After that cheeky T-Way, and look at this loot. 13 Snapdragon seeds, 17 Ranars. I've got 1 mil worth of seeds, just like that. That is crazy. Well, look at that cheeky bit of agility while watching a show, and that is 83, and also 2125 total. How about that? Okay, so I realized I had like a billion bones in my bank, and I also realized I don't really like the wilderness. So what I've been doing for the past way too many hours is using all my noted bones on this guy like this, exchanging all of them, coming up to this altar up here and blessing my bones. And then after that, I've been uh, chiseling them all down. Um, I've mainly done like 2k hydra bones and 5k dragon bones. These are just uh, spare ones in my bank, but you can chisel them down. And then when you've done that for about six hours, you get 500,000 blessed bone shards, which is really cool. And then what you've got to do is you're going to get some jugs of wine and some sunfire splinters from Colosseum. And I believe when you've made those, you take your bone shards and an invent of the wines and you come up uh, this way and fill this uh, libation bowl and you get absolutely crazy XP. Like once you've got all the prep done, it's over like a million XP per hour in prayer. So we'll be doing that soon. Just need to make some wine, um, and then if I think each time you put the wine in, um, you lose some prayer. So you can just come down here and then pray at the altar in this room as well, which I swear it's on the map. Where is it? Altar? It's on the map. Hello. Um, am I? Guys, oh, ta-da! It's that up there. Um. But yeah, so you do that when your prayer is running low, and then you can go back to it, and then you, when, you, when you're done, you TP out, come back with more, and uh, yeah, apparently it's very good. So look forward to that for next time, guys, when we are getting absolutely mountains of prayer XP, and um, apparently we can get to maybe level 97 with this, we'll have to see. But that is quite exciting, as 126 combat looms at 98. So if you guys remember from last time, we were making some of these blessed wine thingies, and the XP per hour on this is absolutely crazy. Like, I just did one invent there, going back and forth a bit, and my XP per hour on Runelights has 1.7 million. That is mad. It took a lot of setup, but wow. Yeah, I've got to say, the monotony of making these shards has absolutely paid off. This is lovely. Like, compared to Wildy Altar, like, this is an absolute dream. It's a bit less XP, but it's just, it's so much nicer. And look at that. There should be level 94 prayer coming in already. It's a level. It's barely even any time, and I'm still averaging over a mil per hour, even though I've been a bit lazy. And how about that level 95 prayer coming in as well, still got 260k um, bone shards left, like this thing, like this this place is good. A little bit of tech that I found for the prayer method is if you ancient mace spec a dummy, it boosts your prayer up by quite a lot, and that lets me do my entire invent in just one prayer restoration. And look at that, we have just enough prayer points to do a whole invent there, and uh, yeah, it just works perfectly. Like it's, it's honestly, it's really good tech, I like the mace. And there we go, that right there is 96 prayer, which is actually a really good level, because that level gives me one extra prayer point for every dose of prayer pot I drink now. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.